Hello, hello family. Welcome back to another video, y'all. The T on MPD and relationships. Hey family, I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Listen, uh, you know how we do it before we get started. I wanna invite you all to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, and come follow me as we discover our destinies. To my new subscribers and new followers, hey y'all. Welcome family to my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value and something that I have to say, I appreciate your time. And family, if you like the content that I am bringing to you, you know how we do it. Just simply hit that like button. It, uh, we, we just let the YouTube community know. All you do is sit, simply hit that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. Thursday nights, y'all. Can you say Thursday nights? We are live right here on the channel. I want you to listen. I would love to see you live in the chat with us. Lots of great information, energy, conversation. Listen, come on, y'all. We have a fabulous time. Invite somebody. Share the videos, okay? Share the videos. Invite some folks to come out and uh, be with us live in the chat. I believe it'll bless your soul. Our holiday comedy roast is coming up soon, y'all. It is December 23rd, okay? When we normally do our Thursday night live streams, we're actually going to do the comedy roast that night, okay? Listen, tickets are only $10. You already shopping online, right? Today, it's Black Friday. I just made it back to Cali, okay, about 45 minutes ago. So I am back on the grind getting this video out to you all because I have been missing. Listen, I've been missing a little on, on my little uh, holiday vacation for a few days. So it's time to get back to work. Amen. So listen, uh, get right on over. Purchase your holiday comedy tickets, your holiday comedy roast. They're only $10, y'all. So go on over to eventbrite.com. Look it up. Uh, T on MPD and Relationships Holiday Comedy Roast. Get your tickets, okay? All right, so let's jump into the topic of this video, okay? The narcissist wants you silent about this. They never want you to talk about this, okay? Now, remember in the beginning, the narcissist was so busy telling you about all of the horrible things that the old supply did to them. I mean, they did them five ways from Friday, okay? I mean, this the, the way that they talk, honey, that narcissist, that narcissist will have you thinking, listen, they had their behinds handed to them every day, okay, by the old supply. This bow-legged duck, okay, with two combat boots on, will we'll sit there and tell you everything under the sun that happened to them in the in the uh the relationship with the old supply it could be a friend a family member or whatever you could put you this right here applies all the way across the spectrum okay friend family member uh romantic partner husband wife whatever you know the genders are interchangeable they do the same thing Okay, so they'll tell you all it. I mean, tell you how badly they were they were abused. Then the family chimes in for good measure. Okay, the family echoes. Yeah, they treated them really bad, and this and that and the other. You know, the family chimes in. Well, the family is supposed to do that because a lot of times they are very dysfunctional and highly toxic, and a lot of them are, are narcs themselves. Okay, and so they sick of the narcissist. Now, what they don't tell you is that, you know, when that narcissist gets upset, when they don't get their way, because see, you in the middle of the love bomb. They don't tell you when the narcissist get upset, they don't get their way. You tell that narcissist, no, they don't tell you about that narcissistic rage and all of the manipulation and abuse that they're going to take you through. Okay, yeah, you don't get that information. You don't get that information. But what's so crazy, though, is how... They are so upfront in telling, this is why y'all gotta be careful. When people come to you and are, when they feel so comfortable to tell you all of their business upfront in the middle of trying to tell you that you walk on water, be careful, be careful, okay? They telling you how beautiful you are how handsome you are for the men, how beautiful you are for the women, how how they always wish for somebody like you, never thought they could have anybody like you because they always been abused. And then telling you how 
they have been abused in it, y'all gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Listen, listen, okay? Now they telling you all of this stuff. Now what you later on find out after you get into it with this bird, this Chinese crested, I said it, okay? So once you, when you, what you later on find out is that this person is actually a manipulator and abuser themselves, okay? Now the tables turn. Once you get into it with this, with this bird, the tables turn. They do not want you telling any of your business to the family. It's quiet time. Okay? It's quiet time. And if you go and say something to the family, oh, they get all. Oh, they get they get belligerent. They might not do it in front of the family, but when you get in that car, headed back home or wherever you going to, that car going to turn into a torture chamber. Okay? Because that narcissist is going to be grilling you. That narcissist is going to be telling you, I don't tell my business like that. I don't know why you, why I don't talk to my family. I don't tell them this and I don't tell, but hold up though. You were telling all the business when we got together about how this other person abused you and everything. That's how you know they be lying. Because now all of a sudden it's top secret information. See, they don't want you telling the business because they don't want the family and they don't want the, the flying monkeys to know what they're doing to you. Because, see, they tell the same lies to the family. Now, the family know the narcissist is a horrible person. They know that. They already know. Now, you're going to have that one family member who is the main supplier or who's going to always be there. Uh, if, it's, if it's a male narcissist, it's usually the mother, his mom. If it's a female narcissist, uh, she has, females can have different ones in the family that will come and come to her, to her aid. But usually if it's a male narcissist, it's going to be the mother and it's going to be the aunties and it's going to be the sisters. They're going to they gonna really, the, the aunties, the sisters, and the mothers are the, you are the ones that usually going to vouch for that narcissist. They're going to take up for that narcissist, don't care what he does. They know he's terrible, know he's a horrible person. They're not going to tell you a thing. And they're going to participate. They're going to believe everything uh, that the narcissists say in the smear campaign, too. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And they're going to... And, and so when it all comes out, when you think that these people really like you and they care about you, they don't. They don't. They're there to protect the system, the family system, that dysfunctional system that they have. They're there to protect that. But the narcissist wants you quiet. Once you get into it with this bird and you hit that bump in the road, it's full on abuse. They are abusing you emotionally. They are uh, abusing you psychologically. Okay. And, and sometimes and verbally, and then sometimes it's, uh, it's even, uh, physical. They know about the side chick, that one chick that the narcissist, the back burner one that, that the, uh, that the family knows about. And, and sometimes it's a, uh, it's a few of them. Okay, I told you narcissists going to always have teacots on the side. What are teacots? Y'all probably asking me, what are teacots? Those crows over there. Okay, I told y'all before, these crows, ain't, these crows ain't loyal. No, not loyal at all. Okay, but they don't want you telling the business. You tell the business and it is going to be on and popping. Okay, you got to see when you go, when you get into it with a narcissist, they want to keep all the, see, they got to say, they got to put out, they got to put on a show in front of the family members. Okay, they got to put on a show in front of them, make it, make them think that everything is so wonderful. And some of the family members will come to you and tell you, oh, I can't believe how this, this person is acting because they don't act like this normally. You know, they just, oh, what you doing to them? They so different. And then when y'all listen, when y'all get together, y'all at home or behind closed doors, you like, you be scared to say anything because you know, when y'all alone and behind closed doors, this is a whole bird. Okay, 
this this right here is it this you you dealing you dealing with the michelin man uh with a wig on with a straight up attitude and the attitude look like it come out of the abyss okay the straight up out of out of hell itself okay because they they are just that mean they just that mean they are not and and if you go and say something about it you are going to you you gonna have listen you gonna have you 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 gonna hate you ever did i don't tell my family my business i don't i don't tell them everything because i don't want them knowing what my business because i you know they always have something to say but you didn't have no problem telling all of your business in front of your family when we got together this is how you know it's manipulation Y'all stop keeping secrets for the for the narcissist. Once you see that they are being double, once you see that they you dealing with two different people, you don't even need to play with it, family. Don't play with it. You just need to leave. You need to leave. And this is why you got to take your time when you are getting to know people. Because when people are playing up to be two different people, it's because they got some deception and some manipulation going on. And whatever they're doing, it's, it, it's never going to change. And it ain't going to be pretty. Okay? The, the abuse that they're taking you through is only going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. Anytime somebody is one person in front of, you know, one group of people and behind closed doors, there's somebody totally different. You already know that it's all bad. It's all bad. So you, if you, if you notice that this person has zero authenticity all the time across the board, I mean, you know, when you go to your job, you gotta, you know, you, cause half the time you don't want to be there, you know, or it, especially if you're if you're doing something you don't like, and you working for uh, a narcissistic boss or whatever then you know, hey, it is what it is. You just got to do what you got to do to survive for them eight hours or 10 hours or 12 or however, 16, however many, however many hours you're there. But this, 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 this when, when you're with a narcissist, that's totally different. Because these clowns, they are truly somebody else when they are in front of people. And then when they are behind closed doors, they are all kinds of abusive family don't when i tell you they don't want you telling their business because they know that they have lied so many times to their family members even about the old supply the family knows how the narcissist is but see because they don't they 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 intimidate you into a space of just keeping your mouth closed being silent about everything they intimidate you and you and you're afraid to talk See, the family really don't know everything that has probably happened with the old supplies. Okay? So, you, you, when you see this happening, the narcissists don't want you telling the business. Because they already, they, they, they know that if you, once you start talking to them, and there's going to be one person there with real good sense, that's going to be like, oh, they do that? Oh, wow. I thought it was just us they did that too. See, everybody in the narcissist family is not crazy. They might be dysfunctional, but everybody. So there's one person usually that will tell the truth. If you get around to that person and start telling that person what that narcissist is doing, they will give you the real, real. Okay, the narcissist. That's why the narcissist wants you quiet. They don't want you telling their business. I mean, to anyone, and not only that, the friends that play up to them is not really friends. And if you think those flying monkeys are your friends, just wait till you decide to leave that narcissist. You're going to see who your friends really are. Okay? And the ones with that side with the, with the narcissist, them flying monkeys that side with them and believe what the narcissist says, they were never your friends in the first place. Just count it, just count it all joy that you found out who they really were. Stop keeping secrets for the narcissist. When you find out what you are dealing with, when you find out what this rhino with a bow is doing, you got to let it go. Don't sit in silence and be abused by these birds because the abuse never gets better. It always gets worse. And they're never, ever going to tell you the truth. The family's not going to tell you the truth and the narcissist is not going to tell you the truth. 
So either way you go, you are gonna get straight up lies. So I wanted to put this video out here because a lot of people are sitting out here suffering in silence and they're not talking about it. You gotta go. You got to plan, you got to plan your you got to plan your work and you got you got to work your plan and uh plan your work. Okay? You got to get away from these birds. You find out what it is, don't even play with it. You just get up out of there. Because they want to keep you in silence. They want to intimidate you into staying and and backing you up in a corner and keeping you quiet about the abuse. Because they know that somebody in that family knows the real deal. Somebody done seen them in full action, but they want to keep you quiet about it. For one thing, they want to keep you in a space of intimidation and they want to keep you in that abuse. And as long as they can keep you quiet, they can keep you in that space. Don't stay, don't keep their secrets. Okay. So family, if y'all don't mind, please help me out. Hit that like button for me, please, family. I want to tell you to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, y'all be safe out there. Do something really nice for yourself this weekend. God bless you and may he make his face to shine upon you. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. I know I sure did and I shared with you all on yesterday. It was good to see you all in the chat. All right, family. So I love you all. You have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Shalom and peace.